When did you first realise that something was wrong? I was just cruising along and then there was this sound, like something snapped. And then the lights came. No warning, nothing. You said that it felt like time had stopped. What did you mean by that? I don't know. Does it matter? Was this a test? No, of course it's not a test. Why all the questions? An accurate reconstruction of events is essential to the process, that's all. I don't want to reconstruct the events. I want to keep reliving that moment I lived, he died, what difference does it make? You lived, and you feel guilty about that? Survivor guilt. That's what they call it. The police have confirmed that the crash was nothing other than an accident. It could have happened to anyone. But it didn't happen to anyone. It happened to me. To him. I don't know what more you want me to tell you. Right, I was disorientated, unsure of what was even happening. Yes, but it's also possible to be in a heightened state of awareness. Do you think that's perhaps why you felt time had stopped at that moment? I don't know. Maybe. Well, as your psychologist, I... I'm not anyone's patient. We're just two people talking. Okay. There was something that you said earlier that I really want to discuss further. Okay. You said that you worked in a high-pressure environment. Well, yeah, I'm not going back to that. Oh, did you feel that way before? Before the accident? I was too busy working to feel anything. So you're reassessing your priorities? I guess so. That's good. And I do want to help you with that. But it's really important that we revisit your experience. Okay. What's the first thing that comes into your mind when you think about the accident? Opening my eyes. And when you came to, you said that you felt no pain, no fear? I was confused, in shock. I was just happy to be alive in that moment. Then what happened? I remember standing outside the car and I could see the paramedics cutting the door open. It seems so strange now I think about it. The driver of the truck, the man who died, what was his name? Bill. Bill Sawyers, 33, a loving father and devoted husband, was tragically killed today in a fatal road traffic accident. His truck collided with an oncoming vehicle and he was killed instantly. The driver of the oncoming vehicle, Miss Jessica Cooper, 27, survived with only minor injuries. Aren't you going to answer that? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. What do you want? You were telling me about Bill. There's nothing to tell, he's dead. It's okay to cry. I'm not going to cry. Are you sleeping okay? Yeah. Any dreams? I don't remember. I think you do. So, 
You were standing by the car watching the paramedics. What happened then? I can't remember. It was all just a blur. Well, just think back to that time and the memories will come. There was a body. They were pulling it out of the wreckage. Whose body? Was it Bill? No. No, it was a woman. Who was it? I, I don't know. I, um, I... Can you see her face? No, they were... Um... And they were surrounding her, resuscitating her. But who was it, Jess? I just told you, I don't know. I couldn't see her face. And whilst all this was going on, no one was paying any attention to you? I didn't think they noticed me there. They were too busy working on the other woman. But there was no other woman. You were travelling alone, remember? So, who was it? Um... I'm sorry, I need to take a break. Of course. There's no rush, we have all the time in the world. I should get that. Dad? Hey, Bottom. What are you doing here? I've come to collect you. Are we going somewhere? Yeah. Do we have to? Can I stay a little while longer? <sighs> it's time to go, sweetheart. I don't want to go. I'm, I'm not ready. I know. Why didn't you tell me? It's something you got to figure out for yourself. My grandfather came back for me. I didn't even recognise him at first. Why can't we just stay here a bit longer, just you and me? It doesn't work like that. I'm not ready. I haven't had a chance to say goodbye to anybody. Come on. It's time to go now. <laughs>